So, good evening, everybody. And uh, we're going to make a very quick start because David Carr has to turn the right hand to London. So, I'm just going to hand you straight over to him and we'll talk a little bit more after he's presented. Great. Thank you very much. So, uh, I'm David Conn of David Conn Architects. Um, and I've got about six minutes to tell you about two projects. Uh, the first is one we just finished. And it opens tonight in London, and this is a quote. The sea reach of the Thames stretched before us like the beginning of an interminable waterway. A haze rested on the low shores that ran out to the sea in vanishing flatness. The air was dark above Gravesend, and farther back still seemed condensed into a mournful gloom, brooding motions over the biggest and the greatest town on earth. That was um, a quote from the first page of Hearts of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. And this is the boat he actually then sailed up the Congo um, before he wrote the novel, which is a story about the journey from London to the farthest reaches of the colonies. It's a story narrated on the banks of the Thames. And so uh, that boat was called Weather Belge, and this is our Weather Belge, which uh, was installed in December, and the first guests stay tonight. And this is a another house by Living Architecture that we designed in collaboration with Fiona Banner. It's on the roof for a year, and so the bottom part, you arrive across the roof uh, to South Bank Centre, you can just see Big Ben on the left there. There's a bathroom, and then there's a galley kitchen, and then there's a bedroom, and then there's a panoramic view of London that stretches from the House of West Westminster round to St Paul's. And above is a, a library with all the works of Joseph Conrad. And what you can't quite see here is it almost sits on the water uh, of the bridge below. And this is a place where uh, the brief asked that visitors would be able to kind of consider their relationship to London and the wider world. And so we felt that a boat that uh, was kind of a literal um, means of travel, but also through these stories, a kind of metaphorical journey, uh, was a suitable solution. And this is the interior, which has this kind of, as you, it appears as one thing from the outside, it's several small rooms on the inside. So this is the galley kitchen, which has screens that slide back to reveal uh, the view. Um, as I said, this is about a 220 degree view of London. And there's another library below, which has books of architecture, books about London. And not only are there guests uh, staying all night, and you can book from the 19th of January, half of the nights are still free, but uh, every month for a week there are performers uh, performing in there, and David Byrne is one of the first performers, and that's been live into uh, the South Bank Centre and online. And there's also clues to the story about the Father Belge, this is a cabinet, a bit like a Sir John Soames Museum, that has drawings of the River Thames, the River Congo, uh, and you're also encouraged to fill out a logbook, which has all of the uh, categories for a conventional uh, journey. So you fill in uh, the course you're taking, the weather conditions, uh, any remarks. And I guess as, it, as the year goes by, this will become some kind of um, compendium of everyone's experiences abroad. And finally, this is your view from the loo. Um, we have a little shading mirror in this round window, the London Eye and Big Ben. And I think this is kind of trying to summarise this attempt to make the largest things, the details, uh, somehow connect. The second project is in Haverland, so up the road, about 45 minutes from here. It's also about travel, but it's really about travel from London. Uh, the client uh, was born in uh, Norfolk, and has had a successful career in London as a gallery owner and wanted somewhere to return to. So this project is about, um, I guess, leaving London and trying to enter into a different kind of uh, atmosphere and time and different kind of space. And there's obviously this huge flat landscape that you have that's as a great antidote to a city. And the site was the walls of a 19th century stable block, and the strategy was to insert little houses inside these old walls, and to try and make the journey from London as somehow extensive as possible, so that finally 
the journey from the gate into the property, into the house, and finally to sit in front of the fireplace, would become somehow the concept behind the whole project. So here is an early sketch of the idea of if you built a little entrance hall inside the former stable block, that would begin to structure the final stages of this journey from London to the fireside and the view out to the landscape. So this is the building of the little entrance house, and you can see on the left there the 19th century walls of the former stable block. And this strategy perhaps is a bit like um, it's like a Russian doll, um, interesting things that are inside each other. So in the first project it was kind of stories nested one inside the other, and maybe there's something comparable here. And then this is the final house, and these are the, the kind of stable doors swung open. Um, and you go in and then to the left to the main living hall, which is quite a tent-like structure, and then to the right into the bedrooms. So this is Stuart, um, that's looking back at this little entrance building, and so he goes here in order to uh, somehow look differently to being in London, and the key thing is, I suppose, a connection to nature that one can't really enjoy to the same degree in the city. So here's a view um, from that entrance back towards the fireplace, and on the left you can see the landscape, and this is the longest view available on the site. Um, the fireplace is also like a little house standing inside the walls of the um, stable block. And between those two is a very large beam that allows for this extensive living space. Um, and so to summarise, I think both of the projects are about travel, and about a change of atmosphere that gives people opportunities to enjoy uh, the life and landscape in a different way. So thank you very much. I think apparently, apparently I can ask uh, I can answer one question <laughs> before I have to then go and jump on a train back to London. Does anyone have a question? That makes it easy. Uh, on the 19th of January, you go online.